Hello everyone, welcome to the anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we will discuss about RESTful ABAP programming model. We will look at an end-to-end -end application creation with Fury programming paradigm to create a HANA optimized application using RESTful ABAP programming model. It's been a while SAP has introduced the RESTful ABAP programming model. So let's talk about quickly an introduction of RESTful ABAP programming. If you think this video is helping you, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified with the next video when it comes into this video series. So what is RESTful ABAP programming model? The RESTful ABAP programming model is a new programming model for creating Fury applications which are HANA optimized. As you all are aware that SAP HANA was introduced as an in-memory computing engine to increase the performance of your classical ERP applications. And this is also the foundation for S4 HANA solution. It provides a lot of capabilities through which you can create optimized applications, which gives you a good performance. So the RESTful ABA programming model is using code to data paradigm by default as part of its engine into its core so that you can get benefit of SAP HANA. This new programming paradigm has mainly three pillars. The first is development. You will do development using ABAP development tools in Eclipse. That's, the, that's where you complete your development tasks. Then you will start with core data services to build your application, application layer, which includes something called business object. We will look at the business object in subsequent lessons. Then it includes a framework to handle and implement the business logic, which is in a way of protocol agnostic manner. What does it mean? It means whether your consumer be a Fury application or your consumer be a non-Fury application like Java, .NET, or any third party application where you want to communicate to this programming model, you will be able to do it with the help of web APIs. If you look at a quick application which we can create, so this application we can start with the Fury app development which consumes an auditor service built by the RESTful application programming model and these are some of the key components which we will be developing throughout these lessons which includes CDS views, behavior definitions, behavior implementations and that finally talks to the HANA DB to fetch the data. So from which version onwards you can start using this new programming model? Basically, you can start consuming this programming model straight away with ABAP platform in SAP Cloud Platform. It's available as a trial. If you have not seen my video, how to set up your ABAP trial system in SAP Cloud Platform, please click on the I button where I've shown how to set up a free trial instance in SAP Cloud Platform. So you can get started and experience the restful ABAP programming model even your company is not on S4. But just in case your company has already implemented SAP S4 HANA on-premise, then if you are above SAP S4 HANA on-premise 1909 onwards, you can also start using this RESTful application programming model. So this programming model will also replace the classical BOPF-based applications, which are built using CDS BOPF integration. With that, thank you so much for watching this session. And I will catch you up in the next session and we will discuss about how to get started and create your first database table in ABAP on cloud with RESTful application programming model.